All right, here we go. It's another day shipping here at Paisley Lane. Um, before I start, let me, let me show you a little something and maybe you can watch as the series progresses and see how things get better for me. As you can see behind me, it's not very pretty. In fact, the whole place is not very pretty. Let me see if I can turn this around. So you can see, oh, no, I can't do that. All right, well, I just have to do it this way. This is my shipping station. Yeah, it's not pretty. This is where I keep my boxes. It's not pretty. This is where all my packing supplies are. Oh, it is what it is. But I'm really wanting to get things better because I'm tired of the confusion. I'm tired of the mess. I'm tired of everything. So today starts a journey of let's get this taken care of. Let's get this in order because I need, I need simplicity. I need peace. So anyway, we're going to do a ship with me video. I've got my list right here. Handy dandy list where to find my items and I will try not to make you seasick as I move. This is my first time using this stick thingy. So we'll see as we go. And I'm gonna have to dig a little bit, so pardon me. Okay, here I am in where all my finished items are that are stored. As you can see, I'm doing the uh, box method. Each item has a number. I keep everything on um, an inventory sheet. I need to know. For, I need to know how much it costs. I need to know all of that. And I just am an Excel spreadsheet kind of person. So that's what I've been doing. I may switch over as some have done and change that up a little bit. But for now, each item has a number and each item has a box designation as to where it's being kept. So um, this is, again, a mess, but it is home sweet home. It's my warehouse. So, all right, let's go find some stuff. First thing I'm looking for is a pair of Crocs. And as you can see, I can barely fit through. <laughs> okay. And my box, my, oh, I don't have a box number is my problem with my Crocs. I'm hoping they're in this box down here, which was the last one I started. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm not seeing any Crocs. No, of course not. Hmm. Okay. That means I gotta go digging. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's one of my other issues. I bring things over and I don't know where they are. I've tried to start a sorting box. If I don't have time to put it in a designated box like the ones here behind me that and already in plastic with a sticker with an inventory number on everything it goes into a box until I can process it and I have the boxes sorted by glass clothing all of that but it's still a process that's in progress so anyway okay so we'll skip those for now I'll come back to that I do have a box designation for a hat I sold it's in hat box number two and that is right here. <clears throat> it's a brand new mellow yellow hat. It still has the tags on it. And uh, I think, I can't remember what it sold for. Boom, I forgot to write that on my sheet. Anyway, um, I think it was, oy, I wanna say $20. I don't know, maybe it was 17. I don't know, I'll have to look and see, but anyway, so that's that. All right, so that's one thing off my list. Oh, I dropped my paper. All right, second thing is a pair of Vince Camuto shoes. And that is in box CT, which is right here. Well, hmm, it's supposed to be in here, and they're not. Oh, no, 
are going to start laughing at me. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have to go looking for those too. All right. See, I told you it's a process. It's in progress. All right. Now I'm looking for some hat pins that I sold. And supposedly I have a box up here on the shelf that has jewelry written on it. Okay. Oops. So we'll see if it's in here. Because I don't have a whole lot. Oh, okay. So I sold this one. And there should be a pin that says Honda. Here, I think this is it. Yep, Honda. That's it. Now you can't see it very close. There we go. Oh, it's not in focus. There we go. And then this one, you probably couldn't see either earlier. I'll show it to you again. It's a, it's a Harley Davidson pin. So that's, at least those were easy to find. All right. And then, since I can't find the others very easily for you, I'll look for those in my own time. But right now, I want to show you, let's back up on the shelf, this two pairs of shoes that mom picked up. I work with my mom, by the way. She and I are a dynamic duo or a terrible twos. I don't know what we are, but we're something. We're a hot mess. She bought, while I was gone to FlipCon, I was gone for four days. She went shopping at a local thrift store and she found two pairs of wrestling shoes, vintage wrestling shoes that are Nike. Let's see what's the other one. Okay. And I had no clue what these shoes were about. She, she had gone ahead and drafted them and taken pictures before I got back. And she said, I didn't put a price because what I saw didn't make sense. So I left it alone. I said, okay, what does that mean? And so I opened them up and I started looking at them. And like I said, they're vintage 90s wrestling shoes from Nike. They're called the Ultra Combatant. And they are in, apparently, a sample color. I did not know that. Well, I mean, it said sample on it, but having seen others out there that were like it, I, but not it, I didn't know how to price them. So I saw the comps. The comps were running anywhere from $200 to $450. Well, $450 didn't make any sense because that was four years ago. It was from somebody who had ended the uh, sale, didn't sell it. When I looked on WorthPoint, I saw a pair for $212 that sold 11 years ago. Again, helps, but it really didn't help me nail down what my price should be. So I thought, well, we'll, We'll price it a little higher than I think it should be. First I put 195, then I changed that and I put 225. Again, this is them. Yeah. And these are things, these things are like, I don't think anyone ever wore them. They're in perfect condition. Oops, 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 oops. Perfect condition till I drop them. Um, they do have probably some like closet marks there. I mean, it's nothing. Nothing dirty, nothing worn, nothing anything. So I priced them at 225. And then the second pair I have has some damage. It has some uh, discoloration of the soles. Pull them out of the bags. Should have done that before I got you guys on there. Let me see if I can find the one that has the discoloration. No, that's not that one. Okay. There we go. You can't tell it from the top, but here's the discoloration. Yeah. 
Again, I don't think they were ever worn. Um, they appear to be in like new condition, except for that, that yellowing. These I priced at $195. And I tell you what, it wasn't 10 minutes. And both those things were purchased and purchased by the same guy. So I'm thinking I way underpriced them, obviously. But that's okay, you know, because uh, my mom paid $8 a pair for them. So if I get $420 out of the pair, two pairs, and we've got 16 into them, I'm happy. So, hey, thumbs up to whoever got them. If you can make some money, help yourself. I'm happy for you. I'm happy I got what I got. I know I went into price them because it did say, I don't know if you can see it or not. Oops. Figure out how to do this stick. At the bottom, it says sample. So, I don't know if it... Uh, it probably does make it more again. I'm, I'm learning sneakers. I don't know sneakers. I know hard goods. I know household goods. I know I'm learning clothing, but sneakers I'm still totally ignorant about. So that's that's my bad, but his good if he gets it. So I'm excited for them anyway. So that's what I'm selling today. Um, nothing exciting. Like I said, it's just a lot of bread and butter. Um, in fact, I can look up my prices right now for some of the things I did sell. The pins I sold for $10.95 for the Harley Davidson and $9.95 for the Honda. The hat, oh, I was wrong, $14.95, got that wrong. And then the Crocs that I couldn't find, it's the simple toe peg uh, Crocs, those sold for 30. And then the pair of Vince Camuto slip-on shoes which should be in box ct that are not those sold for um thirty nine so yeah I'm happy with that happy with this week sales I would have my store shut down while I was gone like I said to Flipcon so my sales are from uh Wednesday excuse me Tuesday evening until Sunday that that's what you're seeing now didn't have any sales on Mercari because they shut your whole site down didn't have any sales on Poshmark or Etsy while I was gone either so this is it I've got a total of eight items that's going out the door today and anyway so it check out the progress to see what happens Oy. I know people talk about their death pile and this is only one room this is one room I've got a whole upstairs that is full, probably uh, close to 2,000 square feet that's full. I have a storage unit that's a 10 by 20, it's full. I have another storage unit I just got because I ran out of space and had an estate come up and I got one for that, it's a 10 by 10. And it's getting it's getting there, It's not. it still has floor space, you can walk still, but um, then I have my garage at home which has bags and boxes and then I have another garage in the back of my house which has more stuff and it has a whole floored second um, story that probably has thousands more items in it so watch us watch us as we grow and watch us as we change and watch us as we see what can happen as we get our nose to the grindstone and um, I'll hire some people to come in and help us do some cross posting and do some um, actual listing as time goes on. So I came back from FlipCon fired up and ready to roll. Anyway, check us out. Paisley Lane. We're on eBay and Poshmark with the same name and Etsy with the same name. I changed it lately. So I'll be growing the um, Facebook channel. So our Facebook page. So check us out on that as well. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.